Hi, I'm Carl Eric Tornquist, a former BioCore TA. In this unit of BioCore 324, you'll have the opportunity to use Arabidopsis as your plant system. I'd like to now demonstrate the proper procedure for sterilizing and plating Arabidopsis seeds. Normally, this process is done in a sterile hood, but if one is not available, it is important to clean your work surface thoroughly with 70% ethanol. The reagents you will use to sterilize the seeds are 70% ethanol and a solution of 10% bleach with 0.1% of the detergent Triton X100. Finally, the seeds will be rinsed four times with sterile water. In addition, you will need the following materials a P1000 micropipetter and tips, agar growth plates and micropore tape, and, of course, aliquots of the Arabidopsis seed in a sterile microfuge tube. The first step is to add one milliliter of 70% ethanol to the seed tube and invert several times to mix well. Let stand for two minutes. When the two minutes is up, use a micropipetter to carefully draw up the ethanol, being sure not to pull any seeds into the pipette tip. This is best done slowly, with the tube held at an angle. Next, add one milliliter of bleach solution to the tube. Close the cap, invert the tube several times to mix, and then place on a nutator or similarly moving device. If a nutator is not available, the same motion can be achieved by using your hand and wrist. Allow the seeds to wash in the bleach solution for 20 minutes. After washing, the seeds must be rinsed several times to remove any traces of bleach. This is done by rinsing with four volumes of sterile water. First, remove the bleach solution from the tube using the same careful method as with the ethanol removal making sure not to draw up any seeds. Then, add one milliliter of water and invert once. After the seeds have settled in the tube, carefully draw off the water. You will notice that the seeds swell with each successive rinse, such that the volume that they take up in the tube increases. Watch the level of the seeds each time you remove the water and do not lower the tip past this point. Repeat the rinse three more times, leaving the fourth volume of water in the tube. Now you are ready to arrange or plate the seeds on the agar. Set your micropipetter to 200 microliters. Pick up a clean pipette tip and draw up the seeds by lowering the tip to just above the bottom of the tube. Hold the micropipetter horizontally and slowly pull off the tip, making sure to keep the tip horizontal so as not to dispense the seeds. The water seed mixture may travel up the tip a bit after removing the pipetter, but a slow slight movement downward will cause the water to migrate to the tip end. Keep the tip horizontal once the water is at the end of the tip. Uncover the plate and hold it at a 45 degree angle to the bench. Keep the pipette tip horizontal. Swiftly and gently touch the tip to the agar surface, allowing a single seed to be released with a small drop of water. You can comfortably place 10 to 12 seeds per row and two rows per plate for physiological growth experiments. Note that you will need to determine the spacing of the rows based on your growth conditions, whether light or dark grown, for example. Here's a demonstration of how the tip will drain if held too far from horizontal. However, keeping the plate at a slight angle and the pipette tip horizontal will allow just the right amount of flow to cause one drop to cling to the agar surface. From the side view, you can see the angle of the plate and pipette tip. After all seeds have been plated, Close the lid and seal with micropore tape. This tape is also known as paper tape and can be found in most first aid kits. This tape allows for gas exchange but acts as a microbial barrier. Place the sealed plate 
in a dark 4 degrees Celsius refrigerator. After 3 to 5 days, place the plate vertically under the light source. You will see signs of germination within 2 days.